hi guys good morning ah i just woke up like um, maybe an hour ago we had our morning devotion got the children ready for school and they are off now and i'm just sitting in and just thinking on this journey to making money there's something that sorry i don't know even know let me head sorry let me because i think the sound and let me take this up. Yeah, this is better. Right? Okay, so on this journey to financial freedom, making money, you know, being able to afford what you have, what you can, being able to afford what you need, just being able to live above waters and not work yourself to the bone. If you are at the point like me where you feel like you work so hard, like every day you work so hard and it looks like most of the things you do are not immediately bringing your income and you're at the point where you know you have big projects coming you're marketing you're doing your best and the issue of money has always be, been a trigger because at the end of the day you're still earning far less than the responsibilities that you have to deal with especially if you're like me, you know, married, a mom, um, four children, bills, over 40, there are certain things you just need. Like, there are certain things you could do without when you were younger, but you really need now. And think of other people as well. And especially if you have such a passion to help other people. If you're there, then you can relate to this video. And sometimes it looks as if there's a system or the system of the world is is not how do i put it now is not um, set up to reward the hard working for lack of a better way to put it you know get what i mean and we also say it in in passing like it's not about working hard because if it's about working hard then the people who carry weights you know lift heavy um as heavy bags in the market or float um trucks really do work hard and sweat and move those people should be earning higher than anyone but are they the ones earning higher i also understand hard work is not only with strength so those who do the most tasking brain work are they also the ones earning, earning the highest you know is is a sort of mismatch somewhere and you know if you watch my last video where i was talking about I don't even think it's God's will for us to just work, 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 work ourselves to the bone and have little or nothing to show for it. I remember when I was trying to fight this status quo in my personal life years ago. On a Monday like today, I would, those are the days I take myself to go watch movies in the cinema. I just wanted to reprogram my mindset that on a Monday, you need to get going, you know, you need to start a hustle again, you need to, you know, you need to get into the rat race. And thinking about it now, I'm just like, what is life really about if all we have to do is work, 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 and then be unsure about if the work will really, really cater to our living and our needs. At the same time, is, is taking care of our needs only the reason why we are here on earth? There's a bigger picture. And all of these are distractions in my in my head. It's, they are all distractions, right? So the world has mastered a way of making us so busy trying to get the bag, trying to earn, trying to you know, what, be, a, be a good girl or a good boy so that your boss will pay you, being good to your, uh, your client, taking sometimes absolute rubbish as a business owner just because they will pay you and you can eat, you can pay your bills, that we forget that the main reason why we are here is to live out the glory of the person who made us in the first place. Oh my gosh. Then the question becomes, how do you earn comfortably? And still be connected to your source. Because when all of this is, is done, <laughs> all of this thing called life is done, with the bills we paid, 
matter. Will the jobs we worked at matter? Will the buses we served matter? I'm just really trying to say that this channel is about financial freedom, money, business, opportunities. But we need to get it, we need to start it afresh from the scratch in the sense of putting our mind where our mind should be, which is do the kind of work that makes us come alive. And of course, try to monetize it. And of course, ensure that it pays the bills. But first of all, we need to make sure that we are not distracted by so many other things on this journey to try to pay our bills so that we have, you know, when the Bible says, when your eyes are single, you know, so that our eyes are single, we are focused. And then we can really always go back to the drawing board every day, every hour, every three hours, every moment of our lives back to the owner of life to say okay so this is what i'm doing what should i do next this half i have gone father help me this is my plan for my business god make it happen so that every effort you're putting in is bringing back tons of unexpected returns in the positive and that way we are working less but getting more because at the end of the day, the more is not just in the money alone, but in the ability for us to feel our core, to be connected to our maker. See, let's keep the, the, the main thing, the main thing. That's what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of distraction. For myself, I catch myself all the time saying, what are you scrolling? You're looking at other people's lives. You're wishing you're like them. Oh, somebody is in in, 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 in a conference in Doha. You're wishing you're in Doha. You're wishing you can afford that hotel. You're wishing you can afford that car. You're wishing you can afford that shoe. Okay, after wishing, those hours you gave into scrolling and checking them out, you're not ever going to regain them. So, girl, I ask myself, wake up. Which is part of why I pick up this camera because... I think that I'm in my in my authentic girl era. <laughs> Ooh. And I think I'm coming to do this realization also because in the last couple of months has been one of the toughest in my life. I've had these circles all of the time. But trust me, trust me, trust me. I know that this is the end of the tunnel. Yeah? Does life ever get you out of a tunnel? out of a tunnel finally and there you are not cruising mm -mm. never really is life is just a circle so you pass one level you get into another level with its own demons right but skipping the main thing the main thing is how we thrive through it all so we know that all of this happening is just a distraction keep the main thing the main thing and that's just what i wanted to say to encourage someone and to encourage you watching Let's make money. But bigger than that, let's stay connected to our maker. See, it's not religion. It's, it's you sitting down to say, wait, why am I here? Who made me? Who is he? What is he? What was all these things about? So if you actually made me and you exist, show me that you made me and you're with me. Make that prayer and see what happens. Forget religion. Forget what you were taught growing up. Forget what people are saying. Fight to have this relationship with your maker. And you're going to see everything from a different eye. Trust me. I wish you a beautiful week ahead. And I want you to stay winning. Stay winning. All right. Cheers.